week, and today we're going to be talking about Applied Materials, symbol A-M-A-T. They have earnings coming out tomorrow night, Thursday, uh, May 18th after the close. So we're uh, we're going to talk about this chart right now. Let's take a look and see if we can figure something out. So as you can see, um, I've plotted a line that um, I've drawn a trend line in from the uh, bottom that came in around the early to mid part of October, call it about 78 to 80, 80 bucks. It's made a nice series of higher highs and higher lows until the uh, early part of April when you can see the stock kind of corrected a little bit, but it did correct down to a level, a uh, good support level. Um, going back to uh, November highs and even December highs. So this was an area where the stock got some, got uh, uh, had some resistance and now it's got some support there. Let's call it about the 110 to 112 range. Um, ever since the stock's it's been on fire, especially this week, last couple of days, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, the stock has been up strong, um, probably close to about 7% of the over the past three days. Um, good volume as well, too. And when, let's take a look at the indicators below. You can see the nice crossover on the MACD here, uh, where I show with the arrow, we have the crossover that happened, um, not right there, but right over there. Um, we also have a, um, a positive reading and crossover on the no sure thing uh, indicator, which is what? This is basically a technical indicator used to predict momentum and price movements um, in different markets. It's calculated by using the moving averages of four different rate of change periods. Um, it's an indicator tool that's uh, used in market analysis as well, too, as, fairly, as they give a fairly detailed overview, short and even long-term uh, price pattern. So when you get these uh, crossover moves, on the no sure thing, you got to pay attention. They are extremely important. And then finally, at the bottom pane, which is the Traders Dynamic Index, which is an indicator I use quite a bit, and it really evaluates uh, the chart as it uh, relates to um, Bollinger Bands versus relative strength. And so the relative strength um, has been super strong the last couple of days, and you can see that we got that crossover move in the earlier part of, of May and confirmed it the next day. So this is all actually on a buy signal as well too. And then you finally take a look at the top pane over here. We've seen that the, um, we see that the candles turned from teal yesterday to blue today, to light blue today. So that is a strong buy signal uh, when we're on blue. Cautious uh, buy signal, a cautious bull signal when it's teal. Um, neutral when it's amber, like it was over here a couple of days ago, but we've moved into that blue area. Now, where might we encounter a little bit of resistance? When we stretch out that trend line that I drew back in October, um, that comes in at around 130 to 132 bucks. We're 125 right now, so maybe another six, seven dollars of upside um, before this um, decides to to wear out. We are at current currently at some resistance levels right now from uh, March and from early February, the early February high. We can break through there tomorrow, um, especially given earnings coming out later after the close, we may take a little bit off. I do have some uh, call positions on this uh, name as well too, but um, you know, I think over time, maybe June, July, August uh, would be a good spot to, uh, to add, some, um, add some applied materials calls. So that's applied materials. Thanks very much for watching everyone and I'll see you